Okay, here we are in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, and uh, we uh, earlier recorded a soundtrack using a uh, USB microphone, and which is down here. Now, I've never hooked a USB microphone and recorded much on this computer. The other one I, I do a lot more. And um, inadvertently, we got a, a levels weren't set right or some other problem. We did get a lot of static which is perfect to try out the um, ERA noise remover. So that actually worked in our favor. This is what was primarily to, to, uh, to highlight the ERA voice leveler. But since we have the noise in, um, I'm going to be showing you the noise remover as well. Um, if you take a look at this soundtrack right here, it appears to be pretty low to begin with. So we recorded it four different ways. Uh, normal distance to the microphone. Then far away from the microphone, really close to the microphone, and then back to normal amount away. So I want to get a varying level of loudness to for the uh, voice leveler to work its magic to see how it wor works well in all those situations. So let me play it at the normal volume that we have it right now just to give you an idea what it sounds like. This is a test of the uh, ERA voice leveler at normal distance. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Testing one, far away. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Okay, very close. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Okay, all three tests are done um, of the ERA voice leveler, and now we're going to apply. And we just kind of sped that up just to show you the, uh, make it a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is open up the uh, ERA voice leveler. Uh, I'm going to kind of go over the interface real quick. Um, it's basically a one knob type of compressor leveler using the uh, main dial right here, which uh, varies the amount of processing. Um, of course, you can control the, uh, the output from 0 dB all the way to 0, I guess, in dB. Or actually, this would be minus. Uh, it's zeroed out right now, but uh, you could all go all the way to negative 35. <clears throat> now you have the different modes. Normal modes for everyday use, which is um, probably what you want. Tight if, if you want to add some more oomph to it. Uh, makes you stand out in a mix if you like use a voiceover or dialogue over music. You'll, you'll be able to hear, be heard a lot more easier. And the same with emphasis, uh, it will take tonal problems and correct them if needed, if it's engaged. And also it'll help you be more intelligible uh, to figure out what you're saying. So we're gonna go ahead and disengage those and go back to the normal mode. Um, now this is your AB switch. So you can try two different settings and compare them together. Um, and here's the one that I use for uh, channel A, then channel B is where I engage the uh, tight and emphasis rather than the normal. And we're actually gonna AB those two different uh, situations all together. Let's go ahead and we're gonna turn this on. As you can see, the um, the levels went almost down to zero dB, which is where they should be. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and play it with the voice levelator engaged to uh, give you an idea what it sounds like now. This is a test of the uh, ERA voice leveler at normal distance. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. The same one far away. Testing one, two, three, Three, two, one, test complete. Okay, very close. Testing, one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Okay, all three tests are done um, of the ERA voice leveler, and now we're going to apply the effect. Okay, we uh, just applied the effect, and um, it's still processing, I guess. Uh, if you look down here, they also have a, uh, I guess, a schematic, schematic, uh, schematic of, I can't say that word, 
of the sound waves and the black is the input of what the actual sound wave is and then the output from the plug-in showing you uh, it compressed and raising up the quiet part of the audio and then dialing down the, the loudest parts together. Now we're going to run it one more time in A, B, the different settings just to show you how that works. This is a test of the uh, ERA voice leveler at normal distance testing one two three three two one test complete the same one far away testing one two three three two one test complete okay very close and so that's a very useful way to compare two different settings uh, depending on which one you decide to use um, so we're going to go ahead and leave that on channel A. Now I did mention that there was a problem with noise. We're getting a lot of static uh, issues. So we're going to go ahead and bring up the uh, ERA noise remover. And it uh, doesn't give you as much settings. In fact, it's just the processing and uh, I guess the output dB. In fact, we just basically left it on exactly as is. So I'm going to... Uh, First, I'm going to do is have it where it's in offs, just so you can hear the background uh, static and noise. This is a test of the uh, ERA voice leveler at normal distance. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Test complete. The same one far away. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Test complete. Okay, we're just going to stop it right there. Now we're going to turn it on and off so you can compare the um, the static noise to the uh, noise removed just so you can uh, get an idea what it sounds like. This is a test of the uh, ERA voice leveler at normal distance. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Test complete. The same one far away. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Okay, very close. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one, test complete. Okay, all three. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop it right there. So that's the noise remover, um, ERA noise remover. Now, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 does have some solutions. I think it even has a audio analysis where it can even kind of do a, a loud just adjustment. Don't really quite trust that. I've gotten rather weird results. And uh, it also has noise removal that it works pretty well in mo uh, most cases. But if you set it to the default 50%, um, it sound the especially vocal sound really war warbly, I guess. And anything greater than 45%, so you, uh, 40, 45%, so you gotta move it down below that. Uh, I found that the uh, ERA noise remover works quite a bit better than the uh, Final Cut Pro 10 version. So uh, there we go. Uh, that is their two of their um, compressor plug-in, uh, voice levelator, and your noise remover. Now, I believe you can get these individually for about $50, $59, somewhere around there. Or you can buy a set of five plugins for about $110, uh, which might be on sale, I'm not sure. Um, but usually a plugin like this, um, or even this caliber would, would be $100 a piece, so you're actually getting a pretty good deal if you buy it in the package deal. Especially five plugins uh, for, what, $40 extra, something like that. or. Fifty dollars, actually. Excuse me. So, um, I, the prices are pretty close. I'm just doing it off the top of my head. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.